What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. We got some pretty good stuff going on here today, and I'm excited to get into it with you. We got some Ultimate Edition news for you guys, as well as some brand new WWE Elite images that we got shown off to us yesterday that we got some, I mean, we got some questionable things going on, but we also have some pretty epic things, and we're going to get into all the great things, man. But let's go ahead and dive into this Ultimate Edition news, because I thought it was pretty interesting i wanted to put it up to you guys just let you guys know what i thought about it so let's go ahead and dive straight into it now yesterday guys if you guys did not know they actually did like this amazon wwe figure live stream type deal where johnny gargano and adam cole got on there and they were basically just kind of running through some different products and breaking some stuff down I'm, it was a pre-recorded video it's not like it was a live stream like they've done before and stuff like that it was a pre-recorded deal and uh, they basically just showed off some new ultimate editions we're going to be getting and we already knew about all of them pretty much except for which version of Triple H we were going to get which we're going to cover in this video and we also got to look at the new upcoming Ultimate Edition that has already been voted on and it is going to be Goldberg now this is what I wanted to talk about first because I don't know about you guys but I feel like this was a pretty lackluster WWE Ultimate Edition figure at least in my opinion so as you guys can see here the three options are WCW August 1998 we have WWE from June 2003, and then we have WWE from November 2016. So the three options, you have three different eras of Goldberg there. You have WCW version, his first WWE run, and then that, uh, you know, that return run there. So, I mean... At the end of the day, these are pretty basic, you know, we've seen all three of these in Elite form multiple times, so as far as WCW is concerned, guys, we already had the Entrance Greats Elite, and then we had the two-pack WCW, you know, with Bret Hart and Goldberg two-pack, that is two different Elite Goldbergs in those trunks right there. As far as the 2003 version is concerned, the Elite 74 Goldberg was very similar to that. And uh, it was, you know, the same trunks there. It was the yelling face scan came with the World Heavyweight Championship. And then for the 2016 version, we had the main event Raw Ring. You guys remember that version. And then we also had the WrestleMania version. And then we have the most recent Top Picks Wave, which is pretty much that same figure as well. So, as far as Ultimate Editions are concerned, I mean, I don't really know what we can get. We're going to get a screaming head sculpt. We're going to get a pissed head sculpt. Maybe we'll get some newer head sculpts but i'm thinking like as far as an ultimate edition i feel like this goldberg could have been a lot better it could have been either a different character or they could have given us like a promo gear with a nice leather jacket maybe they'll include a leather jacket i think the as far as i don't i don't even think i voted in this thing but i did have a i grabbed a screenshot from somebody who did vote and it does say that the wcw version won the vote 60% to 31% to 9%. It says your vote on the WCW, but I didn't even vote on it. That was, again, that was somebody else's. I didn't even vote on the thing. And I don't even know if you could still vote or not, so I don't know. But the Goldberg, it looks like the WCW version is going to win. I saw a lot of people saying that the WCW version should win, and I, I, it doesn't really matter because we, I mean, we've already seen multiple elites already of that, and it's just not the most exciting Ultimate Edition. I don't even know what you're, they're going to give him. I'm sure they'll give him a cloth shirt. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see about that. I think it would be sick to see him in, like, promo gear or, like, the a nice leather jacket or something like that. But we'll just have to, you know, I guess just see how everything plays out. But the accessories with this guy... I'm sure he'll come with a big gold championship. I don't know if he'll come with... I don't know. Maybe they'll get creative with it and they'll do some other, you know, things with it. But the Goldberg figure is the next Ultimate Edition. I wanted to cover that one. Some other Ultimate Edition news that we have, guys, is we do know what Triple H we're getting. And pulling that up, guys, we are getting the Triple H DX with the red iron cross with the dx over the top there as you guys can see the different head sculpts we're going to get i love these head sculpts they look like they're going to look great now a lot of people are going to probably be saying that this is too ripped for this era of triple h and it probably is but they're not going to change the ultimate edition torso it's going to be the exact same torso that we got with the last triple h he'll probably have butterfly joints and all the good stuff however you know it doesn't really fit that you know that era of triple h he wasn't as jacked or cut at this time However, I still love this is the... I'm, I'm glad this is the look that we got because this is the one that I voted on. And this is an era of Triple H that we don't have just yet, or at least this look. We do have Triple H's in, you know, the... the We do have DX Triple H from around this time, but we don't have it in this specific gear. And, you know, getting that specific t-shirt and these interchangeable heads and everything should be really sick. So, I'm excited for the Triple H. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. But, I like the gear. I've always wanted this gear in Elite form. So, having it in Ultimate Edition should be pretty cool. But the head sculpts look really, really good. I like the likeness and everything. So, it should be no problem for me. The... the 
the shirt should look nice and, and all the different things. So the Triple H figure did win that, and I think it went up for pre-order yesterday a few times. I don't know when it's going back up for pre-order, so just try to get on Amazon and try to save that link, and then, you know, try to stay tuned on that. And then as far as the rest of the news, guys, we do have a ton of images of Elite Series 88. We got brand new images of Elite 88, and I wanted to put it up to you guys. So let's go ahead and just dive into that, because these figures look pretty damn good. There's some pretty good, there's some questionable things, but we also have some really good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. First off, we have Elite Series 88 Kushida, and this figure looks fantastic. So I know that we had to wait a really long time for the Kushida figure, but look how great it looks, man. He has all of his Back to the Future gear going, and he's got like the hoverboard graphics going down the sides of the, of his of his trunks. The all white gear looks fantastic, like this cloth shirt that he's got. He's got his orange vest on there. I mean, dude, this is a really great figure. You can tell how great the articulation is going to be on this guy. Lots of great parts for this guy as well, like customs and things of that nature. So the Kushida figure, I was blown away. I was like, oh my god, look how great this looks. So I'm excited for the Kushida figure. Great colors on this guy, great head sculpt on this guy. And again, we did have to wait a really long time for it, but it is here and that is something that we can say. So that, that's beautiful to see. The Kushida figure is looking very fantastic. Next up in the set, guys, we do have Rey Mysterio. Now, one thing you'll notice about Rey Mysterio is that he does not have double-jointed arms. I don't think Kushida had double-jointed arms either. At least I don't think so. He may have. I don't I don't recall seeing double-jointed arms. But the Rey Mysterio doesn't have double-jointed arms either. However, the figure still looks really good. The head sculpt looks nice. Uh, it does have the eye patch over the mask there. The colors are popping off really beautifully as well. The blue and the yellow and the red looks really sick. And Rey Mysterio figures are really, really good anyways. It doesn't really matter if he has double-jointed arms or not. Of course, we're going to get them one day. And I thought that, you know, every figure moving forward would have the double-jointed arms. But I don't think it's the biggest deal ever because Rey Mysterio figures are so good. And this one looks great, even though it doesn't have the double-jointed arms. I know it's going to feel good in the hand. Rey Mysterio figures just make the world go around with how good they feel in the hand. So Rey Mysterio is going to be great. I like the mask and everything. A lot of people wanted to see what this, uh, what this head sculpt would look like without the eye patch. So maybe they could make that happen one day. But the colors look good, the shirt looks good, and I like the Rey Mysterio figure a lot. So there is the Rey Mysterio figure. The next figure we're going to cover, guys, is going to be probably the worst one. And I, I don't know what's going on with this figure, but it is going to be Trish Stratus. We have the regular version, and then we have the Chase variant version. And I don't know what it is about this head sculpt, man. But I am not feeling this head sculpt whatsoever. I do not like this head sculpt. I don't think it looks like Trish. I don't know who this is, but uh, it just looks off to me. Uh, the eyes look a little bit off. It's just, it's a weird one, man. It is a definite weird one. And I love Trish. Uh, I, I love this era of Trish. This is a great era for a lot of people. And a lot of people wanted this figure in their collections and this time frame. But this is, uh, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. You guys can let me know down below what you guys think about it. But the, uh, I, I just don't see Trish. I feel like it kind of, um, I don't know. It kind of looks like an off-brand Trish or something. Like it was trying to be Trish and it's just not so let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below and I, I don't know man I'm just not feeling the head sculpt I feel like it's missing some likeness or something or like the eyes look a bit off or the jawline or so something's off about the head sculpt or, or the figure in general and I need you guys to let me know down below what you guys think so let me know what you guys think I'm not a fan of the Trish head sculpt and it's kind of bummerific because you know with true effects and stuff you would think you'd be really excited for that head sculpt and stuff so We'll have to see that, see if, you know, it's, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it looks better in person, but by the looks of these images, man, not really feeling that one. But let's move on to Matt Riddle, guys. In the next set, or the next images, we do have Matt Riddle, and this figure looks weird to me, too. Like, the head sculpt on this guy just looks odd. I don't know what it is. Uh, like, the likeness is kind of there. Like, I can kind of see where they're coming from. It's just a weird expression. But, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care for this head sculpt either. It's not my favorite head sculpt by far. It's not that it doesn't look anything like Matt Riddle. I just don't, I don't know. It's like the expression or something or the eyes are too sm I don't, I don't know really what it is either. But I do love the hat. I love the, uh, the t-shirt that we're getting right here. And you guys will also notice that he does have double jointed arms. Um, and I, it looks like they did give him like, you know, the Finn Balor kind of ultimate edition arms, which are kind of skinny. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. 
Uh, he's also got the jack leg still. It's the same Matt Riddle formula that we've seen before. He's got the black slides. He comes with a ton of accessories, which I love to see. You know, the cloth shirt, slides. He's got the hat. He's got the interchangeable hands. And uh, the orange gear is not as good as the white gear, in my opinion. But maybe the figure will be better once we get it in hand. Not my favorite head sculpt, like I like I said. But, you know, maybe you know, it's going to be a more articulated Matt Riddle. So that's one thing to say. But we'll just have to wait and see. It's kind of hard. Like, the different angles that I'm getting, it's kind of hard to see if the, if the arms are too skinny or if, they, uh, or if they're a little bit beefier or whatever the case is. They, they're kind of looking a little bit skinny, but I can't really tell fully from these images. So we'll just have to wait and see when we see either better images or we get the figure in hand or whatever. Because at some angles, it doesn't look too bad. But then at some angles, I'm like, eh. So I don't know. But the, the Matt Riddle formula, still not a big fan of the formula regardless. However, that is the Matt Riddle figure, guys. Next up in the set, guys, we do have Elite Series 88 Roman Reigns. Now, this is a figure we pretty much reviewed yesterday on the channel from the Top Picks 2022 wave. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check that out. But we have a look at the Elite 88 Roman. It looks beautiful. It's just like the Top Picks figure that we that we reviewed yesterday. So if you guys want to see a full-fledged review on this Elite 88 Roman, we pretty much did it yesterday. So definitely go check it out. It does come with the Universal Championship instead of just, you know, the, the head of the table t-shirt. But the Top Picks figure is pretty much a re-release of this without the Universal Championship. But the Roman Reigns figure looks really, really good. Gold gauntlet, double jointed arms. Definitely go check out the review yesterday, man. I was really impressed with the figure and I was really excited to have it in hand and everything like that. So definitely go check out the Top Picks review on the channel. The Roman Reigns looks really good. And then the last figure that we have, guys, is going to be Elite 88 MVP. This figure looks fantastic. A lot of people were talking about how great this figure looks, and I have to agree with it. The head sculpt looks really good. The double jointed arms look amazing. The Black Panther gear or the, the Hurt Business gear, the black and gold, looks really, really sick. I like the torso that they chose. The double jointed arms look good. The accessories look good. It's a, it's a great figure. This figure is going to be on a lot of people's list as one of the best figures of the year, I can guarantee it. And uh, this, this head sculpt is going to look great on a suited body as well. If you wanted to make an MVP in suited body, maybe we'll get that anyway. But this MVP figure looks very, very good. Even though he doesn't have mic holding hands, it still looks really good. And uh, maybe there'll be a way around that. But the double jointed arms look good. The head sculpt looks phenomenal. And that pretty much wraps up our Elite 88 images there. So all in all, guys, we had the two Ultimate Edition announcements with the Goldberg and the Triple H. We found out that the WCW version of Goldberg probably won the Ultimate Edition vote. We have the images of Elite Series 88 that I wanted to put up to you guys. And I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. I think the Trish Stratus figure is woof. I think that the Kushida looks great. Rim is that the I mean the full wave is pretty good except for Trish, I'd say. Outside of a few things here and there, I think the wave is pretty good except for Trish. I'm just not feeling that. And again, it could change once I get in hand. But at the uh, time of recording, not the biggest fan of the head sculpts there. So we'll have to see about that, guys. But that is going to do it for the figure news. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your thoughts are on everything down in the comment section below. What do you think about Goldberg being the Ultimate Edition? Do you think it's boring? I, I am not a fan of that, but we'll have to see. Do you like the DX Triple H? Let me know all the different things down below, guys. But I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToy. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the Trish Stratus. Cross the line, I've been beaten, broken down